Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Broken Age. Let's return back down to control room. Number 666. We have more missions to complete. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver, and hope for the best. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. All right, let's deliver our new uh, star chart here to the Space Weaver. We need to go here right away. Prima <clears throat> Doom! Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Might I suggest somewhere safer? Like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile System? Where shall we go today, Wise Commander? No way. I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, Young Master, but my programming won't allow it. Forget it. If we can't go to Prima Doom, I don't want to go anywhere. Please don't be angry, young sir. If I could override this directive, I most certainly would. being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live <coughs> a her life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that... I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. 
And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Hmm, the plot thickens. Well, at least the yes, story you know. does. Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home, Laruna, was dying, so we set sail in the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. Computer, we need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why not have some fun in the smile system instead? Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could knit you some new friends. So, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? Well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. So what does Dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hulls, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. She'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. I got a knife. Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Because it's Act 1, silly. You can't get into that until you've got the full version of the game downloaded. We couldn't populate this room with the remainder of three million dollars. It's gonna be interesting to see what Brian Fargo and his team have done with Wasteland and three million dollars versus what Tim Schafer did with Broken Age and his three million dollars. Plus all the sales he's making off of Steam right now. Somebody's driving a new Ferrari. That's all I know. Ice cream avalanche room. Missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. It's not an act! I think I pulled a muscle in that last attack you gave me! My back is killing me! 
Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. You're welcome. Well, I gotta go. See ya! <laughs> Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. It's a whipped cream gum. And it's m Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the Avalanche Mission Protocol. Hey, we're supposed to be on break. Nope, I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much, you know, just chilling. <laughs> He's been waiting for you to ask that for a long time. You look like a blue condom. Little reservoir tip and everything. Oh, clean them windows. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? There ain't no time! Hey, my... my head! What's wrong? My head is... smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics! Duh! Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. I'm almost proportional, but not quite. Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean the junk room? Yeah. Yes. Responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters without a return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. All right, got a crazy little space suit. The helmet comes off.
Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. Cozy cluster it is. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. There's already a stitch Spend there. The I don't think anyone velocity. would mind this. Deploying nav scarf in five. I'm sure what he meant here was this. Four, Just a quick fix. Three. Two. One. Whoa! Wait, no. This is not the destination I indicated. I'm so sorry, Ambassador. I will correct this right. What's that? I seem to be out of yarn. Humiliation! 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 Wow, he took that really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. Teleporter, active. active. This way to the fusion ore containment facility. There is no time. I think that's all my head can take. You need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. In a minute. Holy shit, I got a tiny little head and a long neck. Anyways, folks, that wraps it up for this episode of Broken Age. Stay tuned for the final concluding episode of Broken Age Act 1.